getting children to wash their hands well is just talking to them why we wash our hands. You know, leading by example, you know, if having their parents uh, wash their hands you know, before eating, using the bathroom, so that way when children see the parents doing that and demonstrating that example, then they're gonna be more likely to do the same. You can sing happy birthday a couple times, you can sing Mississippi a couple times. I definitely encourage hand washing if possible with soap and water, because if your hands are visibly soiled, you get grease, dirt on it, hand sanitizer is not gonna be great about removing that. So definitely if there's an option of having a sink with soap and water, I would use that. Um, if you're out in public, you're at the grocery store, and that's not an option, then I would have a child use hand sanitizer. So with sneezing and coughing, you don't want to sneeze and cough into your hands, ideally. If you are going to, then you know, wash your hands immediately after. But ideally, we like to sneeze or cough into a tissue or into your, the crease of your arm. Children touch everything. It's going to happen. But I think it's just, like I said, stressing the importance of why we wash our hands and why we try to limit touching everything and limiting that exposure to germs.